first let me read the question a particle is moving along this line according to s is equal to f of t 4t cube minus 3t square plus 5t minus 1 where s is measured in seconds measured in meters find the velocity and acceleration at time t at what time the acceleration is zero so this is the question to to solve this problem so now we need to find out acceleration and acceleration is equated to zero then we have to find out let us solve the problem solution given that s is equal to 4t cube minus 3t square plus 5t minus 1 let us differentiate with respect to t on both sides differentiate both sides with respect to t so now we get ds by dt equals to d by dt of 4t cube minus 3t square plus 5t minus 1 so equals to d by dt of 4t square that means 4 into 2t 3t square minus 3 times 2t plus 5 times 1 and minus 0 so let it be simplified 12t square minus 6t plus 5 so this is the ds by dt so now let us find out acceleration so this is actually velocity v is equal to 12 t square minus 6t plus 5 so now we need to find out the acceleration how do you find out the acceleration yes let us consider first velocity that is v is equal to 12t square minus 6t plus 5 so differentiate both sides with respect to x differentiate both sides with respect to x so then what do we get yes you are correct dv by dt equals to d by dt of 12t square minus 6t plus 5 so now let us perform the differentiation 12 times 2t minus 6 times 1 plus 0 am i correct so now let it be simplified 24t minus 6 so this is the dv by dt so what is the acceleration the rate of change of velocity that is a so a equals to dv by dt that's equal to 24t minus 6 so see just the question observe the question acceleration is zero so now the acceleration is equated to zero so as to get the t since acceleration is zero so we get 2040 that means a is equal to 0 we get 2040 minus 6 is equal to 0 so 2040 equals to 6 t equals to 6 by 24 let it be simplified 
so 1 by 4 that means 1 by 4 seconds t is equal to 1 by 4 seconds let me read the question first A stone is dropped into a quiet lake and ripples move in circles at speed of 5 cm per second. At the instant when the radius of a circular ripple is 8 cm, how fast is the enclosed area increases? This is very interesting problem. So now if you drop a stone in a lake, what will happen? See, the ripples will come out. That moves just like a concentric circles. Concentric circles. So now, that is the place of fixed point. One circle and one more concentric circle. And it moves on the all the concentric circuits will be formed. For example, let it be considered outermost ripple that is a circular shape. So, let us say the radius of outermost r. So, now the r is increasing at the rate of 5 centimeter per second. Now, we need to find out how fast is the enclosed area increases. So, that we need to find out. Let us solve the question. Solution. Let R be the radius and A be the area of the outermost ripple. that will be in circular shape. Here, dr by dt equals to 5 cm per second. As we need to find out dA by dt, so let us find out dA by dt. dA by dt at r is equal to 8 centimeters equals to question mark. So, let us find out dA by dt. So, in order to find out dA by dt, we need to recall the area of the circle. So, what is the area of the circle? Yes, that is we have a equals to pi r square. So, let it be differentiated with respect to t. So, that means differentiate both sides with respect to t. So, we get dA by dt equals to d by dt of pi r square. What is pi? It is a constant. So, take out pi common. So, d a by dt equals to pi times d by dt of r square. What is the differentiation of r square? Yes, correct. 2 r. Pi times 2 r into d r by dt. So, equals to 2 pi r dr by dt. So, this is the dA by dt. So, now 
as we have r is equal to 8 next dr by dt is da by dt equals to at r is equal to 8 centimeters equal to 2 pi into 8 as we have dr by dt equals to 5 centimeter per second let it be substituted 5 so 5 edge of 40 into 2 80 pi per centimeter square per second so this is the answer